Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. What is actually happening in the political sphere in South Africa is becoming very, very more interesting. Zuma has actually made things, you know, made people to see things in a whole different light as many people term him to be a distraction in this election and whatsoever thing that people say guys i'm telling you that i buy it guys do you all know that zuma has actually made ramaposa to leave a bad historical record as ramaposa creates history as he was unable to actually achieve an outright majority of the elections something which has not been heard of or seen it's been 30 years already since the start of democracy and anc leading guys i'm here to give you all some insider details about what exactitude is happening so make sure to stay glued and watch this video right up to the end before that kindly do well to follow jam vibes please like this video drop a comment and above all share this video with all of your friends too and loved ones in a moment towards transformation within the political sphere, the African National Congress, popularly abbreviated as the ANC, has encountered a significant setback, witnessing a considerable decrease of 71 seats in Parliament subsequent to the 2024 elections. Conversely, the Democratic Alliance, popularly abbreviated as the DA, has achieved a modest ups swing, securing an additional three seats. While the nascent MK party, popularly abbreviated as the MKP, has made a remarkable inaugural impression by clinching 58 wholesome seats. The ANC, renowned as the predominant political entity since the termination of apartheid, has experienced a sharp reduction in its parliamentary influence. Zuma did his work. Zuma came in with so much influence that he possesses, decided to get out of the ANC and fight the ANC. This decline is highly accredited to escalating public discontent surrounding issues such as corruption, unemployment and substandard service provision, such as a downturn marks a pivotal juncture in the political landscape of South Africa, signaling a plausible deviation from ANC hegemony. In contrast, the DA serving as South Africa's principal opposition party has encountered a marginal increase, augmenting its seat count by three. While the surge may not be pronounced, it underscores the DA's capacity to uphold and marginally expand its support base amidst a fiercely competitive political milieu. The DA's electoral strategy centered on principles of effective governance, economic revitalization, and anti-corruption endeavors striking a chord with a segment of the electorate yearning for stability and transparency. The most striking outcome of the electoral process lies in the performance of the MK party. Emerging as a formidable political entity, the MKP has seized 58 seats in its maiden parliamentary venture. The meteoric ascent of the party can be attributed to its robust grassroots mobilization efforts and its pledge to tackle socio-economic disparities while advocating for the rights of marginalized communities. The triumph of the MK party echoes a collective desire for novel leadership and innovative approaches to address the nation's pressing challenges. Political pundits posit that the inclusion of the MK party in parliament has the potential to disrupt conventional power dynamics and influence fresh perspectives into legislative deliberations. Their substantial seat count positions them as prospective arbiters in coalition negotiations, particularly within a fragmented parliamentary landscape where no single party commands an outright majority. The substantial setback encountered by the ANC and the emergence of the MK party foreshadows a plausible reconfiguration of South African politics. The electoral outcome may participate and precipitate the formation of new alliances and a recalibration of policy trajectories as political entities navigate the intricacies of coalition governance. As the nation grapples with these seismic shifts, attention now turns to the modus operandi of these freshly elected representatives in tackling the challenges confronting South Africa. The electorate clarion 
call for change resonates resoundingly, underscoring the pivotal role that the new parliament will play in shaping the trajectory of the nation's future. Funny is the fact that Zuma didn't actually show up during the IEC center reading the final election results. Why could actually, why didn't he come? What could be the problem? I mean, many people on the internet are saying that because he wasn't in support of, you know, the whole election process and stuff like that. He's not satisfied with what is actually ongoing, hence he couldn't answer present. But we are here to hear from his team. Guys, you will tell me what you think about all of this. I love you all so dearly and do want to take appropriate care of yourselves. Do not leave here without sharing this video to the ends of the world too, please.